in a New York City slum. A Latino man lies dead from a stab wound to the chest. The only suspect? His 18-year-old son. Now the boy's trial is about to begin, and the 12 jurors who will decide his fate are all gathering at the courthouse. Guilty. Uh, guilty. He's guilty. Ayy! 
<laughs> uh, guilty the bargain! Double guilty! <laughs> he is, uh, what is the word? A guilty. Guilty? I don't know, I'm just an ad man. <laughs> He's guilty. What are you doing over there? Oh, I was going to sit at the table with you all, but I got lost. I'm old, where am I? <laughs> All right, that's 11 guilty votes. There's still one man who isn't here yet, but I think we can all reasonably assume he'll vote guilty too. Why don't we gather our things to leave? Not guilty. Oh my God, he's crazy. Who is this? Give me one, give me one, give me Hey, mister, why'd you vote not guilty? I just think we should talk it over for a while before sending an 18-year-old boy to the electric chair. I mean, we have an opportunity here, not to pass judgment, but to seek justice. What an asshole. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do now? Say, everybody, I'm just an ad man. Maybe this is a lousy <laughs> idea, but what if we go around and have everyone say why they voted the way they did? Hey, sounds good to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, great idea. I'm the foreman, but let's just do whatever this guy says. <laughs> Uh, I'll start. Uh, I just think he's guilty. Uh, uh. Nice. You should be a public speaker. These are the facts of the murder. Jason, a fact is something that is true. An old man lived upstairs from the murder. Benson heard the kid say, I'm gonna kill you. The old man heard somebody say that. He can't be sure it was the defendant. I'm old. I am. I'm old, just like that other old man. Why are you all looking at me? Isn't that the fact of the murder? Jason, it's hardly a mystery. The boy claimed he saw a movie where the killing took place, but he didn't know the names of the actors or the title of the movie. Highly suspicious. Maybe he couldn't remember because when the police were questioning him, they threw him down a flight of stairs. The police say he threw himself down the stairs after beating himself with a police issue baton. Now this story seems more plausible. I've got a fact of the murder case. It's a doozy they charge a bitch. What about the woman saw the murder take place? She didn't to trust the street. Yeah. Her testimony. I mean, she's one of those people too, isn't she? Oh, you're a real smart guy, aren't you? What are you, one of those foreign people who is smart? <laughs> you know this boy is guilty. You know he's got to pay. You know you can't deny the facts of the murder case. Here's another fact of the murder case, and it's a fact that should be noted. A neighbor heard the father slap the boy in the face. That gives the kid a motive. But I just free. 
I still couldn't afford one. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> That's right. It was part of the, uh, what is the word? Knife day celebration. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got six of those in my pocket right now. <laughs> I guess if you look at it that way, any of us could have been the killer. Well, I don't know. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Forehead, I'd like to change my vote. I'd like to change my vote to not guilty. Uh, so there's more than one knife that don't prove nothing. Yeah, what about the old man downstairs? He heard the kids say, I'm going to kill you. How many times have people said, I'll kill you, and not really meant it? Sure, I say it all the time to my kid when he's screwing around. If you don't knock that off, I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, just this morning I said I was going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's bunk. Anybody who says, I'll kill you, even once, is definitively a murderer. Uh, the old man also says that he saw the kid tearing down the steps 15 seconds after the killing. He identified him. But how could an old man who walks with a limp have made it to his front door in just 15 seconds? Oh, so just because he's an old man. <laughs> Say, everybody, I'm just an ad man. Maybe this is a lousy idea. But sometimes I doodle when I'm trying to clear my head. Anyway, while you fellas were talking, I drew up this diagram of the old man's apartment. <laughs> I don't know if it helps. Hey, this is a nice place. Yeah, I've never seen such a big piece of paper. <laughs> now, the old man says he ran from here to here 15 seconds after he heard the body hit the floor. I want to try it, see how long it took him. It's possible that this room has the same dimensions. Calculating. <laughs> Confirmed. Uh, the old man also said that he and his wife were playing hot lava, so we had to get to the front door without touching the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He couldn't just walk around on those, oh, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> so he would have had to jump to the front door to avoid being burned by the lava. I want to try to do it. Somebody time me. Oh, uh, I'll time you! How many steps to the front door? How many steps to the front door? How many steps to the front door? Count up the steps and decide this boy's game. Where did boy leave the father? yourself. You're a sadist. <gasps> what did you call me? Let me get him! Let me get him! No, please, restrain yourself. No. <laughs> Let me get him! I'll kill him! I'll kill him! You don't really mean you'll kill me, do you? 
Those are two radically different heights. <laughs> <laughs> the father was enormous. That's right. He performed as the tallest man in the world in a, in a, a traveling carnival. I don't remember them saying that in the trial, but I also don't remember the names of my children. <laughs> What's your point? Uh, I'm just wondering how we could have stabbed him from a downward angle. Oh, try to cut him That's right, sir. Dude, I'm getting tired of this. There's been more yakking in here than in the bathroom stall of a sorority house. I'm changing my vote to not guilty. What? You know, because sometimes sorority girls are believing, so they go into the bathroom. Not that, you idiot! <laughs> Why'd you change your vote? Yeah, I've had enough. What kind of a man are you? If you want to vote not guilty, do it because you are convinced, not because you are bored. You know what I have sacrificed to be here? When I was just a boy, I would dream of living in America, of doing American things like strolling along down a, what's that word again? Oh, street. <laughs> and then one day, I learned my dream was coming true. My family would be taking a voyage across the sea to a new life. My prayers had been, oh, what is the word? Answered. Or so I thought. But God has a funny sense of humor, my friends. At first, everything seemed perfect. The water was blue and sparkling. Dolphins performed tricks for us as we sailed on a boat that seemed unsinkable. But then we ran out of food. And then we ran out of water. And as the dream became a nightmare, I was forced to do the unthinkable. I ate my brother. I ate grand lover. I ate my first cousin and then I ate another. I ate my best friend. You did your best friend hurt your tummy, yes, no question. And that was all just on the first day. <laughs> After that, things got really shitty. <laughs> they both had sprung several, uh, what is the word? Leaks. And although we tried to plug them using discarded family body parts, it soon became clear that it was, how do you say, a hopeless. The ship sank. I thought we were doomed. But then the dolphins found us. Our porpoise friends would bring us to shore. Or so I thought. But God has a funny sense of humor, my friends. It soon became clear that the dolphins were hungry and we were the only thing that would satisfy them. What is the word appetite? <laughs> and so I was forced to make the ultimate sacrifice. I ate my sister. Oh, how I miss her. I ate my first girlfriend. I never got to kiss her. I ate my neighbor, she was in labor. I couldn't let those dolphins get that baby flavor. I ate my mother, but not my father. I used his corpse as a raft. That's right. I pulled his guts out of his body so he would be hollow and buoyant. And then I tore his arms off so I could use them as oars. And then I climbed inside of my father's body like a kayak. So I could go farther. I came to Jesus. So I could be lost. I ate my family. I don't have time for your bullshit. I just work in advertising. Maybe this is a lousy idea, but I'd like to change my vote to not guilty. I'd like to change my vote to not guilty, too. Not that anyone cares what I think. What's the matter with all of you? All these picky little points you bring up, they don't mean nothing. Uh, there was more than one knife. The old man took longer to get to the door. Who cares? You can't trust these people. They're born liars. Telling lies is the only thing they're good at. That and diddling each other. <laughs> get little, get little, get little, get little, little. Now don't get me wrong. They aren't all bad. I know one or two of them that are okay. They're lighter skinned. Okay, they're white. But the rest of them, all they do is tell lies and kill people and diddle each other. Get little. Where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I'm trying to tell you. 
Not guilty. And I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the count is 10 to 2. That makes 12. It's always going to make 12. <laughs> we can't understand how the two of you still voting guilty are so sure. Here's why. The woman who lived across the street, her window looked directly into the boy's apartment and she saw everything. She testified that she saw him stab his father. I say we're a hung jury. Why don't we talk about setting some sort of a time limit? Let me just take off these glasses I've been wearing this entire time. Let's see, it's a quarter after six now. If we're still talking at seven, we can decide then if we're a hung jury or not. Oh. Oh, these damned glasses. So uncomfortable. Ouch. <laughs> your glasses. Your glasses made those two impressions on the side of your nose. The woman from across the street had the same marks on her nose at the trial. Oh, well, that means she must wear glasses. That explains why when the prosecutor asked her to identify the killer, she pointed at a table lamp. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the table lamp is the murderer! No. <laughs> but it does mean her eyesight might not be reliable. Could those marks have been made by anything other than glasses? Calculating? <laughs> no. My vote is now not guilty. You're all alone. I don't care. You bleeding hearts can't convince me he's innocent. He's guilty and he has to pay for what he did, you hear me? He's guilty and he has to burn. He has to burn, burn, burn. Scotty has to burn. Scotty, 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 Scotty. <laughs> Scotty is your son's name. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> I was about to send an innocent boy to the electric chair because of my unresolved issues with my estranged son. <laughs> that old cliche. <laughs> I'm changing my vote. Not guilty. Oh! 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 Oh my God. You killed him. That's right. Because if he votes enough guilty, the police will start to look for the real killer. And they'll find out it was, oh, what is the word? Oh, yes, me! You killed the boy's father, or why? I had also applied for the job as the tallest man in the world. He took it from me. But you're not that tall. <laughs> oh, you sound just like the carnival people. <laughs> I was so humiliated. I sacrificed everything to come to America. I had to fly coach. I had nothing to eat except club sandwiches and mimosas. <laughs> I thought you were to eat your family. OK, I did eat my family, but that's just something I'm into, OK? <laughs> my god, you're insane. All immigrants are insane. <laughs> I KNEW IT! <laughs> and now I'm going to, oh, what is the word? Oh yes, kill you! Uh, who the hell are you, mister? My name is Borat! <laughs> <laughs> just confess to the murder. The boy is innocent. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> hey, look. It stopped raining. Uh, maybe you can still make your ball game. Oh, my God. He's alive. He's with it. Uh, <laughs> takes more than getting stabbed through a major organ to kill me. <laughs> we were just about to go tell the judge the verdict. Why don't you tell him? After all, if it wasn't for you, We'd have all voted guilty. Hey, thanks. No, thank you, new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the foreman would deliver the verdict, but whatever. <laughs> Storm clouds 
strip no way. The temperature is a perfect 70 degrees, and the forecast is looking great. And now we settle this crush. The immovable man, how fudge. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go tail the judge. Oh! <laughs> 